Cumulative causation is when an initial action creates positive or negative repercussions. One way that that can be explained is with money. If there is a central economically advantaged area, it will draw funds and skilled labor from the peripheral areas into the center. This is stated, cumulative causation is when an economically advantaged area draws all of the funds and the skilled labor from the peripheral area into the central area where they can actually spend their money, leaving the poor people, this time represented by pennies, to live on the outskirts, and if they're in less developed countries, they might live in squatter settlements. If they are in developed countries, they might live in suburban or inner city ghettos, and this could lead, with all of the skilled labor and money in the middle, this could lead to a brain drain. Squatter settlements are one example of what can happen from cumulative causation. As you can see in the foreground of this picture, there are all of the squatter settlements, while in the background of the picture, there is a higher end housing. Another way that cumulative causation is represented could be through the sector model. When a few economically advantaged people would move into the inner area of the city, they would create a area where a lot of other richer people would want to live. With the other areas of the city surrounding them on either side, they were forced to grow out in a column extending from inner city to the outskirts. Cumulative causation is closely related to the multiplier effect. The multiplier effect is when one thing sparks a chain of events that causes a very large loop. In this case, the multiplier effect is started by the introduction of a new industry. That new industry creates more jobs, which leads to more trained labor. The increase of labor increases the need of services, which in turn increases the population of the community through immigration. Because of the increased population, the town gets more tax money. That tax money grows to the growth of the tertiary sector. That turns the community into a growth pole, that which cre then creates invent invention and innovation, which leads all the way back to creating a new industry, which then starts the loop over again. As you saw earlier, um, cumulative causation and the multiplier effect are closely related, and we're going to give you an example to show how it works. So, each one of these is 1,000 people. We have 5,000 people there. And an industry comes, which brings these people, and those people then need, they need housing, they need education and they need shops to go about their daily lives which then brings in more people which then brings in money and inventions which then can lead to more population increase through immigration leading to another industry and starting the circle anew again another thing that is very closely related to cumulative causation is the backwash effect the backwash effect is when one section of a country becomes more developed than the others. Everything from that less developed section will be gravitating towards the more developed section. That could be people, machines, industries, etc. And this could cause an imbalance in developedness inside the country. In India, the city of New Delhi has become very developed, whereas the rest of the country has yet to become developed. The people that live in the countryside originally will normally move to New Delhi or a couple other major cities that have a lot of corporations or companies or call centers because they are looking for employment and money. Once they have this employment and money, they can spend it in those cities, therefore creating a better economy. But because all the money stays in those cities, the rest of the country cannot develop because they don't have people, infrastructure, and money. To recap, cumulative causation is when one action creates multiple positive or negative repercussions. The multiplier effect is when one thing causes another thing which creates a gigantic loop. And the backwash effect is when one area of a country becomes more developed than other areas of the country, and things from the less developed areas gravitate towards the more developed areas.